Hey everyone, welcome to turn seven of this game. While Captain Calamari is contemplating her turn, I'll tell you what I did first. Um, I played this card, the red arrow, that let me recruit a Rohan unit, which I chose an elite and a leader and put them in Edoras here. Um, and then uh, she left one dice in the hut box and allocated one. And then uh, we rolled our dice, and now she's getting ready to take her turn. I did roll one of these Will of the West, which I can use for anything, and I don't have to decide what I'm going to use it for until I want to use it. So uh, she's contemplating what she's doing here, so we'll let her do that, and uh, then we'll carry on with turn seven. Uh, so for my first turn, I'm going to use this muster slash action die and use it as a muster, and I'm going to use my ability... That's um, the voice of Saruman. So as long as Orthing is under my control, I can use a mustard eye to recruit one regular Isengard unit in every Isengard settlement. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that since I don't have... This guy should be over here. Just because I don't want to leave this region completely undefended as my army <laughs> marches into... Uh, that's not a settlement. Sorry. Um... So that's all I can do. Right evil. Now. Evil. All right, let me figure out what I'm going to do. I am going to use a character dice to move the fellowship forward. So she has a hunt level of two, which is two eyes. And she gets to roll two white dice, and she needs one six to successfully hunt for the fellowship. And she didn't get it. So I now am at six for my fellowship progress level. All right, so I'm going to start by using, for my second turn, an army action to move two of my armies or attack with them. So I'm going to go ahead and attack with these two guys in Edoras and then move all of this, these guys right here. She must have something up her sleeve. So is Edoras is not a... Um, Stronghold, is it? Nope, but it has a fortification. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this battle, and we'll show you how we're going to roll this battle. So we need to determine whether we're going to play a combat card, so give us a minute to figure out whether we're going to do that. So we have no combat card, so let's disaggregate this a little here so you'll see what it is. I've got two Rohan leaders there, two regular units and an elite unit. She has two... No, one. She has one Nazgul leader. And one unit. And one... Is that an elite or is that a regular? That's a regular. It's a mean, regular. Obviously, like, this probably isn't going to go too well for me, but I mean, I, yeah. I have... I have I'm at a settlement, which means <laughs> she would normally hit on a five or six, but it, since I'm at a settlement, she only hits on a six. Okay. So she gets to roll one dice for her regular unit. And she can re-roll it because of her leadership level, but she gets a hit, of course. <laughs> so... Um... Let me go ahead and roll for my units. So I get a roll for three. And I get two leader rerolls, which I need both of them to do anything to her. There. Okay. So I've eliminated a Nazgul and one of those, but I have to eliminate, and I'll just take a regular unit as an elimination, and she loses the battle. But she's got a lot more coming in behind that, too. I'm going to have to try to do something about that. All right, we'll be back. All right, I'm taking a bit of a risk here, but I'm going to move the Fellowship again. So the hunt level, I believe, is three because it's her two plus my one. So you get to roll. Let me check that. She doesn't get an extra dice, but she still gets two dice, but she gets to hunt if she rolls a five or a six. So go ahead and roll these dice, Captain. If you get a five or a six, you get to hunt. Oh, so she gets to hunt. Show us what you've drawn. Okay, uh, no, right here. What? You weren't. It wasn't oh. on the screen. All right, let's figure out what that is. So this means that I'm revealed. This means that she does a number of damage to me equal to the number of successes, which was one. So I'll take one more corruption. But I have this little card here, <clears throat> play on the table if both Mary and 
Pippin are in the Fellowship. They are. <clears throat> After the Shadow Player draws a Hunt Tie with a Reveal icon, you may discard this card to ignore the effects of the Reveal icon. So I will do that. So I have moved forward seven, and I am not revealed. <laughs> yeah, I cannot I find the damage. hobbits. Damage to you. <clears throat> All right, let's see what she can cook up now. She's going to attack me in Edoras, so this is going to be a slaughter. Plus two, um, we've got two of the faction, the Dunlandings, in here, which means I have some extra cards that I can use. And I'm not going to actually move them because the space is really small, but we're going to just pretend they're there. Rohan, uh, we've got these things here you can use um, as uh, army markers if you want. Things get crowded. Um, so let's go ahead and do this battle. So since she has the Dunlandings faction in here, she can use one of their um, faction cards as a combat card. So what are you playing? I am using Old Hatred. Essentially, what this means is um, before the combat roll, I roll one die for each Dunlending figures. Now, if I get a one, I have to eliminate one of them, but if I get a six, I score a hit. All right. So I want you to so go ahead and roll two. that. Plus, I've I'm also looking got, for ones here. I've also got Armed by Saruman in play, which means so whatever two, ones I have left. So I just I want six. She things. has two Dunlendings. I'm looking for ones. No. Okay, so, so I nothing. Didn't do anything. All However, right. both of them do count to the overall strength of my army. Because Saruman is a pain in my butt right now. I think I used my March of the Ents card way too early. Or I could be going to take him out right now. So you have... You can only roll a max of five dice. So she definitely has at least five units. So she rolls five dice. And she's looking for sixes. One. She got one. And she can do one leader reroll. Now... Because I also have Saruman, each of my elites in that army also count as leaders. So actually, I get one, two, three leader rerolls. Oh gosh. So there's one hit. And she got the second hit. And is that it? Yes. All right. So two hits to me, and I get to roll two dice, and I hit on fives or sixes. And I get two rerolls. That doesn't count. It's outside. So now I get two re-rolls, and I got zero hits. So I am dead, and she has taken Edoras. So put your stinking little evil marker on there. <laughs> and my dead pile here is getting pretty significant. I also uh, That's my dead hands. pile, and that's what I have left to recruit. So maybe slightly more than she has to recruit, but she's got way more on the table than I do. Okay, so... So Rohan has officially... Rohan has fallen. capitulated. <laughs> okay, on my recruit dice, I have a recruit action. So I'm for going... Faction. For a faction. For a faction. Yes. So I am going to recruit an int and place him in the intwood. And... I have one dice left, which is Will of the West, which I can use for anything. So let's see what Dr. Evil over here can come up with now. <laughs> I'm going to do something fairly interesting. We'll see how You have well... four dice left? Yes, I have oh, four boy. dice left. Well, but you're going to... I'm going to use my character die. And I'm going to play this card called the Lidless Eye. So this is, I use this to change up to three unused shadow action die results into eye results and place them in the hunt box immediately. So... I believe this will allow me to hunt again. I think that's what that means. So now I have mm. four. Only if I move the fellowship. Well, no. It, it allows me... I place them immediately, which means they they let me hunt again, I think. Mm -mm. Yeah. Let me read it. Let me pause. Okay, so we had an interpretation there, and she decided not to put those dice in there. So she's decided on a different course of action. Um, I'm going to use... This is a wild die, so I can use it for either the Recruit Faction or Play Draw Faction event. I'm going to use it to bring the Corsairs of Umbar Faction into the game. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to... What are the conditions for that? If the Southerns and Easterlings are at war, which they are. All um, right. So now I flip them over, and I start by getting three of these beautiful boats here in Umbar. And that's it. All right. Sounds dangerous. All right, let me figure out what I'm going to do. I am going to change this <clears throat> to a muster dice. And I'm going to use that to recruit um, probably more people for the north. So these are the north guys. And 
I can use... I think I can do a leader and one regular in any two different friendly and free settlements. So I take two leaders and two regulars. And I will put one of the regulars and leaders here. And I will put another of the regulars And the leader's right there. All right, over to you, Captain. So, Captain is going to conduct a siege round in, um, that's Lorien, right? Mm -hmm. So I've got two elites and a regular and a leader inside. Sieges usually last one round. She has to roll a six to get a hit. I roll a five or a six. She'll get a roll five combat dice, and I will only get a roll three, unfortunately. She can also reduce voluntarily reduce this elite at the end of the first siege round down to a regular in order to conduct the siege for another round. And I'm not going to play a combat card. And I'm, I don't know if I am. I need to check. Alright, roll your five dice. One hit. And I get a leader reroll. She gets a leader reroll. Go for it. Miss. Alright, so she gets one hit. I only get to roll three dice. I need fives or sixes, and I get one leader re-roll. I got one hit, and I get one re-roll. I need a five or a six, which I didn't get. So we Sweet. both did equal damage. lose a unit. So she'll lose a regular. Although if I just... I'll down, lose a regular. If I downgrade you downgrade him, him, then you can't extend the siege. Oh, okay. Well, then I will lose a regular... Wait, you have to put your regular in the death pile. I, I'm going to. Yes, he's going in the death pile here. <laughs> it's just getting pretty Are you going to downgrade your elite to yes. extend the siege? So he becomes a regular. Or two regulars. One regular. Okay. And now she can extend the siege, but she won't be able to extend the siege again. So now we'll roll again. And she again gets five rolls, and she's looking for sixes. She didn't get any. She gets one reroll. Nope. And I get two dice. I need fives or sixes. Nope. I get one reroll. Nope. All right. Critical and that, that siege is over. So she can't press it anymore because she doesn't have any more elites to expend. So she has two more dice, and, and they're both events. events, so she can use those to play cards from her hand. So what are you going to play first? Uh, I'm gonna do this one. It's a pretty simple card. Servants of Sauron. It's in the faction deck. So this allows me to draw three cards from the faction event deck, add one card to your hand, then reshuffle the remaining two cards into the deck together with all the faction event cards in your discard pile, including this one. Well, you go ahead and do that. That's basically almost as complicated as being a Vegas dealer. So we're gonna pause it and we'll let you know what she does with her last dice. All right, now that we're shuffling cards, tell us what you're gonna do with your last event dice. Um, I'm going to play this one called Horde from the East. So this essentially is going to let me recruit five Gosh. Southern and Easterling regular units in a free region inside their nation, but this has to be adjacent to the eastern part of the map. And I check, so I can do it in either Farharad, because that region is adjacent to the eastern edge, or any of these. So I'm going to do it in Farharad. How many do you get to recruit? Five regular oh units. Gosh. This is ridiculous. Well, are you sad that you're losing? <laughs> you, by the way, you got another victory point. Oh, I already, I already. Oh, you that. already added it. Okay, so she's at three victory points, and I'm at zero. Um. So that's the end of the turn for turn seven. Thanks for watching. Take care.